Dana 44 is back and looking great. We've got everything from the brake and hub assembly redone, bearings and everything inside of it internally, access drive line. Thank you guys. All right, guys, big update here. It's been almost two years. It was like October around Halloween 2022. I'm pretty sure that Roger came over here. We yanked this front axle out and life kind of took its own fun turn for us. Alex was pregnant. We started working on our house. We just have been super busy with a whole bunch of other things going on in our life. And the truck's kind of sat here just waiting about three quarters of the way complete. And you know, we got the rear end done with the Dana 60. You probably saw that. So it's just been a number of things that have just taking a lot of time in life as they tend to do. And the big news now is that it is back and we just got it reinstalled in the truck. Did not get it painted yet because we've got other things going on right now, but I'm gonna pull it back down and paint the leaf springs and the axle housing. But the big news is that there are new brakes all around, all the fall joints and bushings. Um, we're gonna get We'll get a new tie rod end, a new drag link for the steering, um, get that all cleaned up. There's a new steering stabilizer too, but yeah, it's got brand new disc brakes. You can kind of see them right through there, looking nice and shiny. Brand new rotors, um, everything's nice and fresh for stopping power. So it's a pretty big deal because like I said, it's been a long time since we've had this truck able to be off of these jack stands. They literally uh, bought these jack stands two years ago and they've weathered themselves right here in the driveway. And yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting. So yeah, that's the update. Be on the lookout for more to come with this truck. The only thing that remains now is, what's up, Odie boy? We gotta just plumb the brake lines, get the fuel tank in, plumb that, fire it up, get a couple little wiring things fixed here and there. But this truck is about 90% ready to roll. Um, as she is so yeah big exciting news and uh sorry i didn't get any of this on video it just kind of happened roger came over again and we just banged it out together and got her installed so it turns out being that this is an eight lug conversion this axle is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff we needed to get like i think the brakes were out of like an 83 w200 that wound up fitting it to get the you know the rotor hub assembly and then all the steering stuff comes out of like a 77 Dodge. So it's kind of a combination of things. And uh, nonetheless, sometimes that's what it's all about. You just gotta piece things together when you're doing kind of custom car and truck stuff. So there's a cool quick update here on the 78 Power Wagon. It is not forgotten by any means. And you guys will see more coming along soon for this truck along with everything else.